she's trying to give them what she didn't get. But she's on a mission to make sure that their journey is what hers should have been. Hello. I'm here now. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Brisha opened up the gym about four years ago. We came in and that next day, Paige goes, Mom, can I go again tonight? And the next day she says, Mom, is it gymnastics night yet? I was looking for a positive environment, a loving environment, and completely fell in love with the gym and the coaches. All right, to the floor, here we go. Okay, any exciting news today? When I came in, and just the warmth is, and when I saw how she interacted with the students and how she showed them and taught them the compassion, I knew where I wanted Nevaeh to go. There was no doubt in my mind. Alrighty, let's have a good practice and lead her take off. So the back tuck, you want it to go, look, way up there, okay, to those lights. That's the go. Okay, that time you wouldn't do that garage door. So after the back I really liked what she could see in me for a gymnast. Like, she could see everything I could do, and she believed in me. Just seeing her face just makes me like smile and everything. It's just unbelievable the positivity in this gym. Come on, Paige. Come on, you got it. Push, push. I truly think Brish is on a mission to give back the glory of what gymnastics for girls was all about. She's, she was six. She started out jumping around on the front of So we had a gym in our hometown. That's where she started from. I would say I kind of outgrew the gym at the time, so I needed to go to a different gym. My dream was to be an Olympian at the time. Yeah. Yeah, right. We decided as a family that I needed to go to Texas. I couldn't go with her. Uh, both of us couldn't go. We had to work. And uh, that day was something else to let her go. And so that's when the negative came in. Um, I didn't really have the negative until I left home. When it came to coaching, the coaching style was not something that I would dreamed of ever being. In the era that she came up in, all the good, the bad, and the ugly was accepted. You know, there was days I competed at a competition with two broken ankles. You know, um, it's just because the medals mattered more than me as a person at that time. When I started BP Elite, I was like, I want to be able to help them so they don't have to leave home and have that bad happen. When they're young, they don't see it, but when they are faced with the world and they face like they hear all these stories that's going on with gymnastics, at least they're going to say, my coach Risha never did that. No. I had a great coach. I had a coach who cared about me. I had a coach that gave me a voice. I had a coach who was there when I needed her. So that's just what I go for, just because I know I've been on the other side of that. And it's not a good place to be. I'm here. Go, go. Now look, remember? Her journey is, that is not what it was meant to be. And I'm going to be one that helps bring it back what it should have been. You can drop your child off, know she is safe, know that she's watching over her, know that she will treat her and raise her the same way you would. She makes me feel like nothing has ever felt before. Risha, she's a partner. You know, it's like she's partnering right there with me to raise Natalie. And then the last gym, I just didn't feel like I belonged and then I came here and it's like the world was in my hands. She has made me such a confident girl in just everything outside the gym and inside the gym. She's really boosted my confidence. Coach Brescia is a friend doll. She makes sure every single child receives the same thing. No child here is left behind for anything. I want everything in every child's life that comes here or in any other gym. Like every coach needs to be positive. What you say, how you react to them, they will forever remember. 
What makes you so emotional talking about her? <laughs> As I said, everybody don't know your story. So Navelle didn't really have a bad impression. Got her situated with her bed. We did her whole bedroom. Everything from a garbage can to a comforter to a curtain to a lamp. That's why I'm emotional. Because what coach is gonna go out of their way and do those things for any child? And that's my story. Hi everyone, I'm Lily Liang, President and CEO of USA Gymnastics. And on behalf of USA Gymnastics, we would like to congratulate Brisha on this well-deserved honor. Brisha, we want to sincerely thank you for everything you are doing in our home state of Indiana and for the example you are setting nationwide for what positive coaching looks and feels like. I've heard that unfortunately, you didn't have the most positive experience. But instead of leaving the sport, you dedicated yourself to being a leader for cultural change within gymnastics. And it is only through people like you that any sport can truly change for the better. We're so fortunate to have both you and Lainey working within the sport of gymnastics. And what you both are doing is incredibly important for all of the kids you work with. Thank you for that and so much more. The Positive Coaching Alliance has been a tremendous partner to USA Gymnastics as we work to transform culture. We'd like to thank the PCA for honoring Brisha and Lainey, and we congratulate all of the National Double Gold Coach Award winners. The more we shine a light on coaches who are doing things the right way, the better off all young athletes will be. Thank you so much. <laughs>